Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rico Richardson and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to blur and track a face using DaVinci Resolve. Okay guys, so this is the clip that we're going to use. If you don't know how to get a clip in your timeline, I'm going to pull up a video up here for you guys to check out. It's me talking you guys through the basics of DaVinci Resolve. Now what we're going to do right now is I made a short clip and I already removed the audio. And if I play it, I want to blur this guy's face. I can blur any face, but I want to blur his face in particular. You see me here, indoor skydiving, it was a lot of fun. Now what we need to do right now is we need to make a mask around his face and we need to track it and we need to blur it. For that, what we need to do is we need to go to the color tab. And the color tab will allow you, let me put it to fit, will allow you to place masks and uh, do some color correction. So let's say I want to change the shadows more into the blues and same goes for the midtones. Then I'm going to add some orange into the highlights and this already looks a lot cinematic. Be sure to do this before you're going to do what I'm going to show you guys. So before you're going to apply a mask and stuff like that, that's the thing you do first. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to put a circle around his face. And for that, you need to click on this one, the window one. And we're going to click on this one. And you see that now we've got a square and it's not blurred just yet, but you do see that this is the masking area. And I'm going to place it over his face. I'm going to just make it a little bit smaller. There we go. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Here we go. Maybe make it even smaller. There we go. I think this will look pretty fine. And what we need to do right now is we need to track his face throughout the duration of this video. So let me put it back to fit. And for that, you need to click this symbol. This is the tracker one. And you've got a few options. You can track backwards uh, with one frame or entirely, and you can track forward entirely or one frame at a time. I'm just going to click this symbol and I'm going to let DaVinci render out this entire uh, sequence. So we're going to wait a little bit. Here I'm flying. There we go. So now it's done. It's made all kinds of um, keyframes to the clip. So what I want to do right now is I want to blur this area. And we've got a special option for that. It's the blur one. It's next to the tracker one. I'm going to increase the radius. And now you see that it becomes very blurry. So this is without any blur. So I'm going to add as much blur as possible. And now you see that his face is being blurred out. Let me put this on 100%. We're at the end of the clip and he's still blurred. And let me pull this one back. Let me show you guys how that looks. So now watch his face. It's blurred, it's blurred. It's still blurred even though my arm went through it. The face isn't moving very much, but you see that when it did, it was still tracking. I can show you guys the last few frames. I'll pause it one more time. There we go. Now let's do it by hand by clicking the arrow keys to the right side. And if you don't really like how this looks, if you think this isn't good enough, so let me zoom in 200%. You can always broaden the mask. So I can just extend it and then go back, uh, pull this backwards and then have it track forward once again. I'm going to put this on fit and you can still work with the window size over here while it's tracking. So now once again, let's go to the edit tab and now let me show you from start to finish. So here I'm entering his face is all blurred and it's still blurred. And there we have it. So now what we've done is we've made him unrecognizable and we've tracked it as well that and i think that's absolutely amazing it's very easy to blur out a face and even to make sure that the face stays blurred out and not if the face moves that you see a blur spot over here if you've got any questions about this let me know in the comment section and that's it for this week i hope you've all enjoyed this video let me know in the comment section down below i would love to hear your thoughts did you know that you can now either buy me a coffee or become a patron of this channel 
By doing so, you can personally help me grow my channel. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram as well. And for this week, there's only one more thing left for me to say, which is make love to the like button. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Hit that bell button to be the first to be notified when I drop in a video. And until next time, doei!